Welcome, my Aries Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Suns, and Cross Watchers. Welcome to your timeless true love timeline reading. I am your reader, Mark Angelo Lyons Mal, for short, they're my initials. I'm a professional witch, a professional intuitive, the president of Drawing the Circle Productions since 1998, author of two books with a third one on the way. We got spell ingredients, that's number one. We've got words of grace, that's number two. And number two has a Kindle version available, the words of grace from a professional witch and a link in the description box if you click it. Uh, you'll be able to preview a good chunk of it for free, including the table of contents. You'll see that it's primarily divided into chakra chapters. There are chakras in this reading, so you may find it of use. Uh, the original version, however, is over on patreon.com slash drawing the circle in our digital shop, along with my first book, Spell Ingredients from a Professional Witch, and the third one will be on there, too. Uh, some of my subscribers get not only those uh, ebooks, but also the audios and videos that are in the digital shop. You do not need to be a subscriber to shop, but all of my subscribers on Patreon get three benefits in common. They get a daily check-in. I send them an unlisted YouTube live stream link pretty much every single morning. Did it this morning. It was lovely. Uh, they also get all the extended readings, uh, all the part twos to the part ones here on YouTube, as well as they get a significant discount when they book me for a private session. We'll talk about that at the end of the video if you want more info. Uh, you can follow us for free. You can seven day free trial. Oh, there's just so much cool stuff going on. So if you feel so drawn, if you feel so called, or just even mildly curious, go click the link and check it out and come play Patreon on Patreon. Because I'm the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angelo Lions, if you can just call me Mal. Hi, my Aries and Cross Watchers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we are doing a, a, a timeless a true love timeline reading. Lots of links in the description box about how I define the path of true love and that I do the extended readings. I haven't done them in a while because I've moved uh, and uh, my schedule has shifted considerably. We'll talk about that again at the end of the video. Uh, so to simplify the path of true love, a true love timeline, is your spiritual path, your healing path, your hero's journey, whatever you want to call it, through the relationships in your life. But the course of true love never did run smooth. That's why it's sort of like a hero's journey. So what we're going to do is a past, present, future, a simple timeline uh, using a couple of different cards. So well, let's talk chakras for a moment. We are going to look at what's going on on the inside, the feminine energy. Everybody's got yin and yang, right? Yin and yang, God, goddess energy, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to get a three face down uh, daughters of the moon tarot for the heart third, third eye crown chakras, the internal, the internal feminine vibe. And you know, what's going on behind the scenes, behind your eyes that maybe you don't share with everybody. Uh, then we will get the lower three chakras, past, present, future, again, face down, uh, looking at, uh, at the, the masculine dynamic, the yang, looking at yourself like in a mirror, maybe you looking from the inside out at people, places, and things, relationships in the physical world, and in Cross Watchers readings, there are often a lot of mirroring going on, so you might want to keep that in mind, and I'm sure there's a video in the description box about the seven Essene mirrors, E-S-S-E-N-E, -S -S -E -E. check it out, it's really big. Uh, so we'll get three of those with the Mythic Tarot, which I love dearly. Uh, once those two, four, six are on the table, we will get one Whisper of Love from the Whispers of Love Oracle, consecrated, if you like, to uh, the higher self collective of all involved. And then we will end with a Matt Khan healing mantra because it's helpful. It just is, right? To have a mantra, you know, regardless of what relationships you find yourself in, past, present, and future, because yes, these might be romantic reads, but the, my guides have been so loud and clear about this. They're like, yes, everybody has a true love match. However, every relationship in your life at the present moment is providing you all the opportunities you need to heal, prepare, whatever you want, take the hero's journey uh, so that, you know, you meet eventually. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of that. So uh, things are a little bit different in this reading, though the, the cards are the same, pretty much. Uh, uh, 
the, the intention is a little bit different because as we do this, we become more truthful and more loving. And as a result, we jump to a different quantum timeline, what I call the golden true love timeline, gold, the alchemy of lead to gold, shadow to light, paint to peace, if you've watched my other readings. Uh, so, uh, but asking for the help of our own higher selves, because these are our contracts. These are the relationships we incarnated in to learn, to heal, to grow, to evolve, and to shift to a more golden true love timeline. And if you're watching what's going on on the planet, at least at the time of this time this recording, you got to get that love is really what's needed on the planet. So we're shifting. Everyone's going to get what they want on some dimensional level somewhere, but I know where I want to go and not so much havoc and destruction and, you know, all of that would be nice, right? <laughs> so so that there's more just equality because we're all one because that's the ultimate truth. All right, so enough explanation. Let's do the divination. The shift from explanation to divination happens in the still point. So both feet on the floor if you can to remind myself focus on your breath if you will and I promise I will do anything I can to help anyone shift to a more golden true love timeline uh, for our well-being and for the well-being of all because as one of us does it it makes it a little bit easier for everyone else to do it too so shall we please take a nice deep breath <sighs> still point my goddesses override A place for everything, and everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space, for the well-being of all, and with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. My beloved goddesses, three cards face down, past, present, future, simple timeline for the Aries Collective and their cross-watchers. Where have they been on the path of true love and the true love timeline? Heart, throat, third eye, crown, where are they now? Point of power is always in the present moment. Right, so this is usually the most important. So where are they? Heart, throat, third eye, crown. And where are they headed if they just do their best to make the wisest, most loving, most empowering choices and decisions, true love choices, uh, if they just do their best uh, with all of that. Where are they headed? Heart, throat, third eye, crown. Okay, let's get the next three face down from the mythic tarot, outside in, inside out, lower three chakras, blah, blah, blah. Please take a nice deep breath. My God's override. A place for everything and everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space. For the well-being of all and with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. My beloved gods, please, three cards, face down, lower three chakras, outside in, inside out, masculine, yang, dynamic. For the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and their cross-watchers watching this video drawn to this reading, where have they been on the path of true love? In the true love timeline, where are they now? Point of power, always being in the present moment. That one's probably going to be the most important. And where are they headed if they just do their best uh, to make the wisest, most loving, most empowering choices and decisions as they can in their relationships, no matter who they are and where and where they are. Oh, I saw that by accident. This is a good card. Uh, in this timeless true love timeline read. Okay, let's start in the past. Let's see where we are. And, okay, let's just say when a major arcana card pops up in a chakra reading like this, it usually covers the entire section. So that's why heart third, third eye crown is one section. Uh, lower three chakras, obviously, is another. So on the inner, let's start there. You got the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, uh, Malama, uh, I believe a Polynesian uh, fertility goddess there, right? Now, Nine of Pentacles, uh, particularly earth element on the inside, we're not talking about bodily organs, right? We're talking about the wisdom that we have gained through experience in the world. You can read every book you want on relationships, but until you actually start healing in them, right? It's a different kind of vibe, right? It's more visceral in a way, right? Or element of earth. So so if you think of, you know, the, the Nine of Pentacles as a wisdom, but you're not quite at the Ten, that makes sense on a journey, but you got the moon, Hecate, woo, one of my goddesses or I'm one of her whatevers. 
uh, uh, with Cerebrus, right? <laughs> good puppy, good puppy, good puppy. Now look, lower three chakras there, really pay attention to your lower three chakras because if this is looking at you from the outside in the past here, you probably had to rely more on your interior wisdom uh, and your lower three chakra intuition, relationships in the physical world, lower three chakras, survival intuition, how we survive in this world, right? Really paying attention to the physical world aspect of what you are feeling. But as a result, you really, really have a solid foundation here uh, of wisdom that you've gained and one of abundance and most likely love because heart chakra, you could also feel, you know, love, right? That the wisdom of love there. All right, where are you now? Well, 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 well. Okay, we got a court card. We'll get there. But here we've got the four of pentacles. Now, I wouldn't freak that I went that you went from the nine to the four there. The key word on this card here is security. And four of pentacles is certainly a restful card, one of recharging, right? Uh, uh, going to the well, as these women are doing, filling up uh, the jars to bring back to the tribe. Now, this is a sense of emotional security for me. You're not all the way through uh, the pentacles here, but certainly where you are right now, there is a sense of security, maybe even a sense of self-love if you've been doing, you know, the spiritual, metaphysical, whatever, to heal your heart, to give yourself the love, Matt, as Matt Kahn says, he's the last card down, whatever arises, love that within as and as well as without. And now we got a court card here. We've got the Queen of Swords here. So this could be you from the outside looking in or you from the outside looking at a particular person. The Aquarius card in the Mythic Tarot. So we're looking at fixed air. Now look, the way I read, if you have no planets whatsoever in Aquarius, take a look at your natal chart and see what house it, it is in. I have no planets in Aquarius, but it's in my seventh house because I'm Leo rising. So that's you. That's why I date a lot of Aquarians, right? Just kind of works out that way. Sun, moon, rising, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, so if you are dealing with somebody, uh, even if they don't have those Aquarian things, I mean, they're very fair. They're very just. And this could be someone who's making a little bit more of a head over heart deal. Aquarians just don't pull back. They pull back and up, right? They they see things very outside of the box and as a result uh, can be very rebellious that way, right? And, uh, and innovative. Uh, there's so much good stuff going on there. And yet at the same time, they are fixed air. So they can be very, very focused mentally on something in that way. So whether this is you or not, definitely dealing with someone here. I don't attach gender to Zodiac in that way just because it's a queen. Uh, but certainly uh, that could be a, a great benefit to you, particularly if this is someone that you are in a relationship with, like a therapist or a healer. This is more mental, that's all. I mean, it could be certainly romantic, a family member, whatever. General reads. That's why I like doing private readings. <laughs> I get to see the deets. I am a Virgo. I do like the details. And you're going to love this. Okay. So you got another court card. This is a very Earth-dominant uh, reading here. You got the Taurus card. All right. Now, what's interesting about that is, let's say, so that would be a square to Aquarius, right, on the inner. But again, uh, the, the, the corn mother here, right, she's got the baby on her back, right, she's she's sewing as she goes uh, there. Second house is about life values, right, on the inside, if you think about that. Like, what is it that you really value? Well, how a lot of people find that out is the fear of loss or the actual loss of something. And then, right, in high right, to this is really bringing you great wisdom on the inside of what it is that's most important to you. So, for example, yes, people will say, oh, Taurus, second house, that's prosperity and abundance. Yes, but it's inside. So that can really be more about the values of honesty, of integrity, of wisdom, right? Uh, fixed earth is like topsoil, different than sand. That's Virgo. It moves all the time, right? Mutable earth. This is like really solid, fertile ground where something can be planted and you're loving it because you got the Ten of Pentacles here. I mean, this is the happy, healthy family, right? This is the, the fed. Not only is the foundation there, but there it's fruitful, right? Fulfilling uh, the cycle of earth, uh, of pentacles in the mythic tarot. So 
yeah, if you weren't sure where things were headed in the past, it makes sense, but you had some serious wisdom over there that got you from the Nine of Pentacles on the inner to the Ten of Pentacles on the outer, where you're headed if you just do your best. Now, I will say look into 11th house dynamic, right? 11th house Aquarius. It's how our creativity interacts with the world. It's very humanitarian, right? It's very egalitarian. It seeks to be fair, but it will absolutely lean more towards uh, the element of air in terms of mentality and thought and intellect uh, and all that jazz. So, chakras are on the table. Let's ask your higher selves what the whisper of love is. And yes, there are romantic cards in this deck, but nine times out of ten, it's really more about you loving you on the path that you love anyway. Because as one of us loves ourselves, all of us get a little bit closer to loving ourselves a little bit more. Please take a nice deep breath. Tie yourselves over it. Place for everything and everything in its place, but all where it belongs in time and space for the well being of all and with harm to none, as we will it, so let it be done. Beloved, higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above. What is the whisper of love, the piece of information, inspiration, insight, most helpful for the uh, Aries Collective and their cross-watchers uh, to navigate the, the golden true love timeline of this lifetime for this timeless read? Love endures. That's that element of Earth. Love endures. Love does not give, give up hope or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Now I'll give you a very mystical POV on that. That's point of view, not pigs or vampires, Katya. Uh, uh, it, it, love endures because love is eternal. It's the truth of who we are. It's the core of who we are. We're really lovely underneath it all, no doubt. So, you know, we do withstand every situation. Just take reincarnation into consideration. Ain't nobody staying in the same body forever, right? That's not Saratu. No, 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 not Saratu. So, you know, love endures because it is the eternal, right? It's the divine. It is uh, the unity of it all. So it does feel like you've got the strength, you've got the wisdom, you've got, and it's worth it, right? Because there's something of great value here on the inner for you down the path and the path of true love and the true love timeline and one that seems very, very fulfilling physically as well. So, last card down. Here's the mantra. I just work it a little bit or a lot of bit. I try not to overdo them. I am a Virgo. <laughs> we can overthink stuff. But all of these work. And I read this is our only bookie book read because I can't remember every word of what's in there. But I know all these mantras. I could say literally by heart. Please take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Still pointing. Ascended Master's Override. A place for everything and everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space for the well-being of all and with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. Beloved Ascended Masters, what is the perfect and precise healing mantra to assist the Aries Collective and their cross-watchers to navigate the golden true love timeline of their lifetime uh, in this timeless read, uh, particularly uh, because they're coming from the Nine of Pentacles on the inner and the moon on the outer in their past, some very, very wise wisdom and really some strong lower three chakra intuition there. But the Four of Pentacles, where they are right now, they're good, they're secure, but with this Queen of Swords playing a role, even if that's them, from uh, the, the outside looking in, leading them to the, the Great Corn Mother, the Mother of Pentacles, the Taurus card, great value, healthy, nurturing soil, with the Ten of Pentacles really, really bringing something to harvest as their love endures for this timeless read. Unhooking the past... 
There is nothing to regret when I learn from my past, and that is a visceral experience. Like when you really look back, right? And my my clients keep saying location, 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 right? And I this is probably Carrie Fisher, if you ever saw Wishful Drinking, she says, you know, in life a tragedy happens and it's horrible and it's just and then you know you time goes by, you look back and you see the funny, right? Particularly in relationships with people, it's like whoa, right? So all we have to do is endure, right? All we have to do is keep moving forward. Are we going to choose love every single second of every single day? Essentially, that's enlightenment. It's a journey, right? It's, it's not much of a hero's journey without demons, dragons, vampires, and villains. So I'm going to uh, read you this one, Unhooking the Past. There's nothing to regret because only the ego regrets. The soul does not. The soul sees everything as good for you. You lived through it, right? You survived it. Unhooking the past. There's nothing to regret when I learn from my past. When you unhook the past, you are able to see crucial moments of growth from fresh perspectives, right? Location, location, location. This allows you to see the mistakes of your past as catalysts for your development, not as something you did wrong. And I know that's really, really hard to do, but I think this sort of lets you off the hook because you did the best that you can to f the best that you could to feel your way through this. But if that's even from the inside looking out and saying, I don't know, it's all cloudy, it's all occluded, but that ten of pentacles within, it's like you really stood your ground in some way here, or at least you stood in your wisdom. Uh, the things that you didn't know. Okay, sorry, I lost my spot. It is an opportunity to see how your previous actions could have been better aligned with your highest values. It's okay, you're getting there. Uh, when you learn today the things you didn't know before, you're able to meet your current circumstances with renewed clarity so the past can be unhooked instead of repeated. And the reason why it's repeated, it's, it's not a punishment reward system, this thing we call karma, right? It's a teaching system, right? So uh, Gary Zukav passed a uh, uh, seat of the soul, the compassionate return of the universe. It's like, it's okay, honey, here, right? We contracted to do this stuff as immortal souls, right? That's why all we got to do is endure this stuff. Um, uh, this mantra is ideal for overcoming self-criticism, releasing shame, and being more open-minded. I love it. I think that's really, 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 really great. So if you're new to my channel, what we do at the end of my readings, and now even in, in private readings, I do this, we end with a little something called a blessimation, a blessing and a summation. It's a word we came up with uh, over on Patreon. I've been saying this a lot later, lately. I really don't know what's going to happen once I hit the record button, but particularly in the blessimation, who knows what's going to come out of my mouth. And that's why I do the prayer and meditation before I hit record. Ready? One last time for this reading. Please take a nice deep breath. Here we go. Still point. True love override. I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine on behalf of the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and their cross watchers who are watching this video and drawn to this reading. Beloved ones, may they be blessed with all that they need to heal, to grow, to learn, to evolve to navigate the true love timeline, the golden true love timeline in this lifetime for them, making the happiest, healthiest, wealthiest, wisest, most loving, most empowering choices and decisions that they can. Coming from a place of deep wisdom, yet really may having to pay attention to uh, what's going on, what was going on there, because the way was cloudy, for sure. Cloudy with a chance of mystic meatballs, uh, Hercule Poirot mystery, going on there, because where they are now, they're in a good place. They got that four pentacles on the inner. That peace, right, that safety, like feeling safe within their own bodies while either as or dealing as the queen of swords, they're maybe pulling back and seeing things from a higher point of view, a higher mind point of view, hopefully with some humanitarianism and some uh, compassion as they bring their creativity and share it with the world is where they are headed is with it, is worth it. It's with it and worth it. Uh, with the Taurus card there, the great corn mother, great nurturing. 
great heart energy on this card, but also their values being intact and bringing forth great uh, creativity and uh, prosperity and abundance and manifestation uh, with that Ten of Pentacles getting that their love endures. They are love. They are enduring. They will endure. Love does not give up hope or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation because it's divine and the divine kind of does that so that all they really got to do is little by little unhook their past. Help them with this because there's nothing to regret when they learn from their past. So may they be blessed with all that they need to be the happiest, healthiest, wealthiest, wisest versions of themselves in the true love timeline, making the wisest, most loving, most empowering decisions for their well-being, for the well-being of anyone involved here, and ultimately for the well-being of all life and with harm to none. As we will it. So let it be done. So would it be. And so it is. It was good. The tingle on that one. If you liked it, hit the, the, the like button, the thumbs up. It helps other people find the reading. I think that's nice. Uh, if you want more of me here on YouTube, subscribe, because I'm having a field day doing this still. And I'm putting more of my little kitten pictures. Yes, I got a new kitten. You look at the thumbnail, and I'll pop it up a picture for this one. <laughs> it, was, it was a bit much. And uh, certainly, if you want the deeper dive, come place your auto Patreon. Really, just want, look at the menu, what we got going on there. It's a day free trial. You can free follow. You can shop in our store. You can subscribe to any of our levels of subscription right now, but the menus are there to show you what's what. And I, I really love it. Remember, my subscribers get the daily check-ins, the extended readings, and the significant discount. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, and I highly recommend it for creative types as well to get the support putting your work out into the world for anybody and for me. It's really been a life changer. So, if you want to book me for a private session, I made a video for my 25th anniversary of Drawing the Circle Productions, May 1st, 2023. I have to make a new one because I was living in Holbrook, didn't know I would be living in Saratoga Springs now, but the name of that video is called Booking Private Sessions with Mal. It's got essentially everything you need to know uh, about booking me for spiritual counseling, uh, a reading, or both what we call a half and half. Uh, it talks about what I charge, why I charge at the Patreon discount. Um, now I'm doing readings at, Sarat in, uh, at the Magic Moon in Saratoga Springs, but you can contact them directly. You don't have to book me to go there. You can just call them and they set it up. It's amazing. Uh, as well as the majority of the work that I am doing, though I have a new office downstairs and I've taken one client so far and it was someone I was getting to know, so that was good. Uh, but I do it through video. I, uh, I send my client a Zoom link once we are booked. We record the whole thing. I send them a link so they can download it. They tell me they downloaded it and I get rid of it because you'll see in that video that confidentiality is really important to what I do for my integrity with my clients. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. They tell me they downloaded it. I delete it from the cloud. They can do with it whatever they want. But the most important thing, and this is the, the hill I will die on if I need to, I've never turned anybody away because of lack of finances. That is not who I am. Where there's a witch, there's a way. I'm a witch, so there's a way, even if it's paid forward. But, uh, you know, we talked about that for sure. So it's a fun video. It makes my mom laugh. I will be making, making a new one eventually, but right now, I don't think so. And yeah, what? this is what I love doing, right? So this Aquarian part of it, right? Feeling secure where you are right now, right? Maybe this is about you communicating something from a higher place and a more uh, supported, secure heart there. And just remember, love endures. It is the only truth. There is only love. I know it's very hearts and flowers and, you know, I'm a witch. But when you're a mystical witch and you experience it directly, it blows all of the other concepts out of your mind. So this is a really good one. You know, unhooking the past because none of us have anything to regret when we learn from our past. So have it, have at it. I know you've got this. Do that inner child work, whatever it takes. And just remember, I love you. We're all in this together. So heal, hail, farewell, and blessed, blessed be.